the performance from your side, you must be delighted. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, from start to finish. I uh, thought they were really, really good. Didn't drop off on any of it. Hard to fault. Um, as, as complete a performance as you would hope for and expect in, you know, under the circumstances, in the conditions. Um, terrific from the players. Great attitude. Yeah, really, really good. Um, you know. Bearing in mind, it's a dead rubber. You know. Bearing in mind that there's been a lot of dead rubbers and you know, there's more to come. I think there's one significant game in our division next week. The rest of the dead rubbers. It's just great competition for the amount of pain and agony that it's caused for so many clubs and, and uh, yeah. It's a train smash waiting to happen next week. We're all going to watch it to see which one's going to play in the next train smash, the million pound. So, my boys um, did well today. So, uh, that's a, one of the good things about it. The, you know, the system, I'm not sure about the system. The amount of, uh, the amount of that it, uh, agony and it causes and pain for clubs and, I, I don't know. I don't know whether a million pound would cover it. I don't know. I don't know if you combined it all. I'm not sure. You know, to think that we're going to have either Lee or Catalan. Imagine if Catalan go out. Well, what a disaster that would be. You know, for the growth of our game and the representation of the game and, and the expansion and all the hard work that's been done. You know, Witness as well. Witness have shown their good, solid hard working and you know, con contributor to Super League. It's just sad really. I'm sad about it. But that's the uh, systems that we go along with. But my team played well today, yeah. <laughs> shame, shame to Pat who's leaving considering you know, what you've shown in the short space time what you've shown today. Yeah, oh, he's terrific mate. He's class isn't he? He's, he's top class. He's, you know, um, no disrespect, but I'm going to I'm going to talk about Featherstone, and I'm going to come back to what you're saying here. But I feel I, f I feel for Featherstone too. I feel for Halifax. You know they should be competing for something really good. They've had terrific years. They've had you know they've been they should be playing off for something really exciting, and you know that they're capable of and and want to do. I know this club's probably got ambition. Of, a little further down the track, but they're not ready for Super League at the moment. You know, they, but it wouldn't have be been good if they we were celebrating how well they played this year. And you know, it was a shame for him to have a heavy defeat like this today. Um, but um, he was class. Yeah, it was it was um, a, a tr you know, tremendous display. As you know, every time he you know he was sitting in the box and just it just felt like give the ball to Hiku and he'll make something happen. It was you know. It, it was uh, top notch, and it, and it did most of the time. <laughs> yeah. But there was a, you know other good performance, but he was a standout by a long shot. Tony, would you prefer a straight promotion relegation situation then? Because Hulkingston Rovers are obviously ready for Super League. Uh, they've proved it. No, I, I just wish we had have stuck with the licensing, licensing and played by the rules that we'd set. Um, it happens in all parts of the world. Good businesses should be rewarded for being good businesses and strong and healthy. And the criteria has got to got to be that you not just one-off games for a bit of excitement here and there, but it's you could run a good business and solid. And you know, if you don't, you'd miss out on the top grade. Um, yeah, it's shown that okay, I probably shouldn't have gone down, and you know, on the basis of that, but. It's it's got to be more than just one-off matches. Um, you've got to run a good business nowadays, and you've got to you should have to fulfil all sorts of cr criteria in order to play in Super League. And um, you know, had we have stuck with and it actually gone through with the rules of licensing, I think we would have had a healthy and strong competition now. And unfortunately, we I don't think we do. Where does that leave the fans though? Because without the fans you haven't got the game. The fans, this generates a lot of excitement and uncertainty for them and it gives them hope for the fans of clubs like Featherstone and Halifax and 
I'm still I'm, trying to get back into the hey, Not for one second did I say there shouldn't be promotion or relegation. Not for one second. No way. It's just how you do it. You've got to earn it and you've got to build and you've got to have a good business and you've got to do things right and you've got to have the right sort of capabilities to, to go into Super League. So I'm not shutting that off. I'm not closing it up as a closed shop. But instead of inventing one and creating a something in Wales for the sake of it and then when and give them all dispensations and make sure that you bend every rule in order for Wales to stay alive when there's a healthy club in the in the heartlands well you 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 go with a healthy club in the heartlands or, or overseas wherever it may be and it shouldn't just be based on but we've got to you know I'd, I'm not sure if the excitement's really there for um, Featherston today was it for the Featherston fans, you know, I, I don't think it is, you know, for some of them. I think it's quite the opposite, can actually, you know, harm a club more than anything else. But my team played good today, back to that. I'm happy about that. Tony, do you see all the, all the other coaches seem to be Dennis and uh, Steve and they seem to be the similar sort of mindset that... Um, Oh, it's not just coaches, mate. We listen to people. We listen to fans. We we probably hear more of them and get more letters written to us than I dare say some of you guys in the press do. Um, so, you know, we listen. We listen to a whole lot of people within the game and outside of the game. You know, or, or observers of the game. But you know, if, you, if you've seen too many, if you've seen a lot of good footy in these qualifiers, I, I've missed those games. Um, there's, you know, there is some interest because it's like driving past a car accident and you slow down to see what happens. But really, is it high quality? Nah, probably not. Well, I haven't seen it anyway. But that can extend to other divisions as well. I'd suggest. You know, the, how, are we seeing a lot of high quality games? Are the rules the right rules at the moment for our game? Are we seeing enough contests? You know in the right manner or are we seeing a lot of similarity out there, similar sort of play? You know? And I, I you know, it's not just coaches who are feeling that way. There's a there's a lot more than that and we need to have a really good look at ourselves as a sport and as a you know, as a entertainment industry. Geez, I want people to love my the sport that I've grown up loving. I it saddens me, and it's saddened that I fall out of love with it too. You know, but I, I feel like a lot of the fans out there too. It's a difficult circle to square, though, when uh, you start making those comments in a club that really would never achieve Super League status on any criteria, given the size of the town, the size of the stadium, etc. But yeah, I've won the Rugby League Championship and I've won three Challenge Cups. So you, you know, I don't. We talk about dispensations. I, it's not really a question, it's more of a point, but, you know, I don't know what's, I don't right. I don't know what's wrong, but where's the future? I, I, like in, what, in what way wouldn't they sense. meet the criteria in, in Warrington? I'm not sure about that. In Featherston? Oh, in Featherston. Well, um, on the average attendance. No, the sorry, I thought you were saying we, Warrington. You were saying, oh, here. Yeah. Well, hey. Does that mean you have to play in Super League? If you can't fit the criteria and you haven't got the people to support it, should it happen? Well, I think as a once it's in a debate, not a question. Yeah, as a once in a lifetime thrill, if, you, you, you know, would, 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 if, if they hadn't been given the chance, would a club like Leicester City have done what they did a couple of years ago? Mm. You've got to give the small clubs uh, some sort of dream, even if it's very unlikely to happen. Or good for the sport. Or good for the club, or good for... So. I can't speak, but, you know, Featherston yeah. and Halifax not had a great time trying to get into that top four and celebrated getting into it. It can do more harm than good, yeah, for the sport and for the town and for the club and all those sort of things. But well, we get passionate about the teams that we support, that's for sure. But the team won and played well today. Yeah, yeah. Curry, Curry was terrific, mate. Terrific. Uh, again, yeah, he was, and he did 80 minutes easy today. There was a lot of stoppages in play, so that helped him. But uh, he'll be better for that run. Yeah, Daz Clark was um, solid. Um, we sort of did him in two stints. We didn't want to overplay him in order to break him down again, so we did him in two stints. Um, thought Ben Pomeroy was good. Um, 
a bit unlucky at the end there. Uh, we took him off and uh, the driver scored down his wing. He, um, he uh, just cramped up a bit, a little bit, which is fair enough and understandable from um, the point of view that he hasn't um, played and, and done a lot of training in the last six or eight weeks to, for his uh, foot to heal. Uh, after that, yeah, Jack Johnson did well, so yeah, pleased. But everybody got a good, good run out, so we come through good. Don't think we've picked up any further injuries, so we'll have another couple that possibly available for us next week, so we'll check them out.